La Liga, is well renowned for producing top talents every season. The league which gave us the likes of Lionel Messi, Andres Iniesta, Xavi, and Iker Casillas, continues to churn out top talent. La Liga is no stranger to shaping the careers of young talents. Indeed, it has been a launching pad for several top youngsters in world football. Athletics kick looks at the top 10 starlets to watch out for in La Liga in the 2022-23 season. Starting from number 10 is Take Fusakubo of Real Sociedad. Take Fusakubo is a Japanese wonder kid who plays as an attacking midfielder for Real Sociedad. He is popularly referred to as Japanese Messi. At age 21, he has already represented Japan at the senior level 11 times, and is a fairly regular name in the national setup. Kubo's potential was well known since he was young, and he was a part of the famed, La Masia Academy in Barcelona. However, due to certain violations in signing youngsters, Barcelona was forced to let go of the youngster, and he joined FC Tokyo. He was scouted by several European clubs, and eventually joined Real Madrid, but was loaned out frequently. Kubo signed for Sociedad in July of 2022 transfer windows, on permanent basis. Starting 13, of 15 games for Real Sociedad and scoring 3 goals with 2 assists under his name. He is a technically gifted player who is also a very good passer of the ball. His ability to find passes that other players will not, is what makes him unique. We look forward for more goals, and assists from him as he progresses in his career. Number 9. Robert Navarro. Of Real Sociedad. Another great potential that plays for Real Sociedad, unlike his teammate Take Fusakubo, he was promoted from their B team in August of 2022. The Real Sociedad Zubayeta, is one of the two academy systems that stand out above all others, for their productivity in developing young talents in Spain. The 19-year-old Spanish midfielder, is learning from the best in San Sebastian. Players like Xabi Alonso, Mikel Ayarzabal, and Xabi Prieto are just some of the players, to emerge in San Sebastian, and go on to represent the Spain national team in recent times. In 26 games, Navarro contributed 11 goals and 5 assists, to guide La Realby towards an unprecedented promotion, to the Segunda Division. With his final strike of the campaign came, in the playoff semi-final win over Andorra. A more upright dribbler, than your average attacking midfielder, Navarro's right foot is what makes him so special, with the teenager able to both pick a pass, and shoot with unerring accuracy. Number 8. Ivan Fresneda. Of Real Valladolid. Ivan Fresneda, is a hot name on the transfer market. Clubs as big as Arsenal, Newcastle, and Borussia Dortmund, are said to be interested in the Real Valladolid man. Although he is only 18 years old, the Spanish defender is already in the discussion, for being the best right back in La Liga. He showed his quality in one-on-one -on -one defending against Real Madrid, shutting down the best left winger in the league, Vinicius Jr. Fresneda has 3.2 tackles, and 1.4 interceptions per game, making him one of the best ball-winning defenders, in the Spanish top flight. That is no short feats, considering the quality of defenders in this league. Those stats speak of his intelligence, positioning, and quality in the tackle. The Spanish defender is almost always there to make the play and stick to his man. He rarely gets dribbled past. Offensively, the number 27 averages 1.1 key passes per game, and you can bet that his creative output will only improve with experience. Number 7. Alejandro Balde. Of Barcelona. Also, a defender, the left back is just 19 year old, one of the brightest lights in Barcelona's youth regiment. Balde joined the club in 2011 from Espanyol, before making his senior debut in late 2021. He is a La Masia product, having joined Barcelona at the age of 8. This is a player, we should all be rooting, for as proof that the Barca Academy, can still cultivate world-class talent, at a variety of positions. Skill, and strength make him a fast, explosive fullback who can also support the attack. The Spanish has done a great job choosing his moments, and has been equally good with the ball at his feet, and with runs off the ball as well. He has also been a very good defender, who has shown exemplary field awareness, and that could be the biggest reason, why he has beaten out Jordi Alba for the job this season. So far, he has been perfectly reliable as a defender, and is helping Barcelona become, a much improved defensive team overall. For a neutral fan, Balde is also just a lot of fun to watch. 
he's capable of breaking ankles, while making a spectacular run up the field. Number 6. Nico Williams. Athletic Bilbao player. One of the most exciting players in La Liga, the 20-year-old has made a sizable impression in the 2021-22 season. Playing down the right flank, the Spanish ran defenders ragged alongside, regularly getting into a dangerous area. Moreover, he had enough in the tank to chase down attackers, and thwart chances. Nico Williams, is one of the crown jewels in Athletic Club currently, and is primed to have an excellent 2022-23 season. The youngsters mainly play as a winger for club, and country, and is widely known for his abilities on the pitch. His fantastic passing skills, vision, crosses, and many others make him a highly significant player for his team. He has been a major part of the club, ever since joining them. His brilliant performances with the passage of time, have helped him earn a place amongst the regular starters in the team, which earned him a call-up to Spain's World Cup 2022 squad. Number 5. Jeremy Pino. Villarreal midfielder. Standing at just 1.72 meters, the Spanish attacking midfielder is a right footer, and prefers to be deployed as an inside winger. The 20-year-old can play, on both sides of the pitch, showcasing a lot of versatility despite his tender age. And while we may see him, in a more central role at times, he prefers being deployed out wide. Pino's main strengths include pace, dribbling, high technical abilities, an eye for a goal, acceleration, agility, and perhaps the most surprising of them all, genuine defensive discipline and work rate. The last one is not always, connected with flair wingers, but Pino has a big impact, on the team's defensive tactics too. Immediately, one can conclude that he's an excellent dribbler, both in volume, and success rate. Equally impressive is his finishing, as despite not tallying too many shots per 90 minutes, the Villarreal player is extremely accurate, and lethal, even outperforming his expected goals value. The thing he really excels at, however, is progressive runs. While passing may not be his greatest weapon, he can deploy key passes, smart passes, and through balls with a slight caveat, of a lower volume of overall passes per 90 minutes. Number 4. Erno Martinez. Girona player. Girona has loads of great young players, such as midfielder Jan Caudo, and former Real Madrid man Miguel Gutierrez. But don't underrate the right back, Erno Martinez. He may have the most future upside, of any right-sided defender, and looks like one of the most valuable players, on Girona over the long term. The Spanish defender, has two goals, and an assist this season, from the right back position averaging 1.4 key passes and 1.9 fouls drawn per game. Those are elite attacking numbers for a right back, especially someone of his age. Martinez, who has been a key player for the Girona team, this season at just 19 years old, had a spell at La Masia before leaving for L'Hospitalet, and finally signing for Girona, where he debuted aged 17. And also making a profound impact, on the newly promoted La Liga side. Number 3. Pedro Gonzalez Lopez. Pedri. Barcelona star player. Pedri has quickly established himself, as a regular starter for FC Barcelona, no easy feats for a 20-year-old coming from the Segunda División. He has tended to play as an inverted winger, at least at the start of the season, but the combination of his excellent passing, and dribbling skills, combined with outstanding vision, could eventually make him a top mezzola. Pedri's dribbling skills are worth highlighting too. His 2.71 dribbles per 90 minutes are in line with the averages, but his success rate, 69.7%, is remarkable. Although he is right-footed, he is at ease using both feet. Perhaps even more impressive, than his versatility is his broad skill set, and breadth of characteristics. He has a Brazilian flair to his game, a German intensity, a Spanish passing ability, and a Dutch in-game awareness. Rarely does he make unnecessary take-ons or attempt something risky that could endanger the team, rather, he aims to get rid of the ball in one touch if possible, moving it out from his own feet quickly. Regardless of distance or which leg he's using, Pedri is able to pick out a player from anywhere on the field. Despite being a right-footed player, he has cultivated his left foot to be comfortable in all situations. Number 2. Eduardo Camavinga. Real Madrid midfielder. He is currently 20 years old, and plays as a central midfielder for Real Madrid in Spain. He is second to none in making interceptions and winning the ball back. 
Kamavinga's tracking and recovery are also strong. More importantly, the player has a pivotal role in initiating attacks. With a height of 6 feet, the Frenchman is deceivingly fast and agile, capable of beating opposing players with ease. But his abilities as a central midfielder, go beyond those of just a tricky player. Competency in and out of possession, the timing of passes and tackles, the work ethic to rival any player, and the end product of a man well beyond his age. This French star is destined for big things. Kamavinga's passing meanwhile, is also impressive. He is capable of executing crossfield balls, to create for his teammates in dangerous positions on the pitch. The key to his game is a consistent drive, to keep his side on the front foot. Finally, capable of tracking back, spotting opportunities to tackle, and typically winning his challenges. Describing Kamavinga as the complete midfielder is almost an understatement. He is a truly special player. His ceiling is limitless, as evidenced by the early years of his fledgling career. His technical skill, body structure, stamina, passing quality, and work ethic combine to paint the picture of a player in his prime years, not the very beginning of his football journey. The Frenchman is a role model for players not only his junior, but stars of any age. Taking the number one spot is Pablo Gabi, Barcelona playmaker. The 2022 Copa Trophy and Golden Boy winner is an intelligent player with great positioning sense, which allows him to anticipate plays and make important defensive interventions. The 18-year-old playmaker has established himself as one of European football's elite prospects, having already made 61 appearances for Barcelona. Gavi made his debut for the club in August 2021. Offensively, he is also a solid contributor. He is a hard-working player, who likes to push forward and join the attack. The Spanish is an excellent crosser of the ball, and is capable of providing great assists for his teammates. Gavi is also highly regarded for his work ethic, and professionalism. He is a dedicated athlete, who is constantly working to improve his game, and is a leader on and off the field. He is a player who gives his all on the field, and it is not uncommon to see him, putting in extra work on the training ground. The midfielder can do magic with the ball, and fits right into the youth revolution happening in Barca midfield, but there is no doubt fans, would be seeing a lot of him. Other young players, that couldn't make the top 10, are Ander Berenice, 21, Real Sociedad Yunus Musa, 20, Valencia Ansu Fadi, 20, Barcelona, due to injuries Unai Vencedor, 21, Athletic Club Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to the channel, and click on the notification bell, for more videos on your favorite sport. Until the next one, stay tuned.